I've had so many people asking me about this Android box and that Android box. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I searched for the cheapest streaming box available. So what did I do? Well, I just went to amazon.com. And then once I went to Amazon, I searched for streaming box. And then I went ahead and sorted by price lowest to highest. And I scrolled down looking for Android boxes. So the first Android box I came across was this one right here at 32 bucks, but it only had two gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I want something better. Uh, and this one here, two gigabytes as well. This one only one, oh my goodness. Well, look at this one here. Let's see, there's one right there, but this one has four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage, and it has a $3 off coupon, which makes it about 36 bucks. So it's under $40, and the specs look good. Quad core, 3D, 4K, smart. Is it really good though? Let me open it up here and look at it. Don't wanna to forget to click the coupon. So the specs actually look pretty good, but how good is the box? When you go out and you buy the cheapest Android box on the market, is it good? Is it worth it? You know what? Let's go ahead and add it to the cart. Uh, no, I don't want the protection plan on that. And we're gonna go ahead and you know what? Let's just check out. We're gonna get it, see how long it takes to get. It. And there we go. So two days later, what happens? I get a notification that Amazon delivered the package. So open the door and there it is. Sure enough, on our front porch. Ooh, it's a cold day out today. But there we go, we have the package right there. All right, here we are guys. It arrived in just two days to our location, maybe faster to you, but under $40 to get an Android box in under two days. I love Amazon, Amazon's great. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it right now, show you what's inside, then we're gonna hook it up to the TV real fast, show you what comes really built right into this box and what's it capable of doing. Uh, first thing I noticed when I opened the package, it, it was glaring right at me that uh, it they gave me the 128 gigabyte storage. Uh, Android box, not the 32 gigabyte that I, that I ordered. So maybe they're running low on 32s. Maybe they're giving out 128s. I don't know. No, no guarantee that you will. But 128 gigabyte storage, four gigabytes of RAM for under forty dollars. Is it good? Well, let's open it up real quick, and then we'll put it on the TV and check it out. So let's unbox it right now. All right, guys, here it is. So it is the X88 Pro 10 is the box that we ordered here. Uh, box actually looks pretty beat up. It does say that it has the four gigabytes, 128 gigabytes of storage. That's pretty cool. So we'll look at that and make sure that is true. And let's open it up, take a look. So inside the box, you've got your regular box here for streaming right there. It is brand new. It looks like it still has the plastic piece, which we'll pull off. Um, on the back of the box, you do have your power cord, your optical, your HDMI out, and then you have your LAN. So you do have Ethernet port built in right there. And you have an AV port as well. Very, very nice. And then on the side, you've got two USB ports, USB 1, USB 2, and your TF port right there. And then you've got your screen display right here, which I'm assuming lights up. It looks like ventilation's pretty good. It is all ventilated on the bottom and on each corner of the box. It is a plastic case, but it looks pretty well designed. Now on the bottom, you do have four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. So it even says it on the box. So it looks like this is going to be a little bit of a bonus, pretty cool there. So you do get the box there and inside you're going to have the basic stuff you're always going to get a user manual. You're going to have your remote control. It looks like a basic remote control. Um, it does have some TV control functions up here that you can program. Uh, you do have function buttons, you have a menu button, and you do have an air mouse. So it's got the fe all the features you're going to want. There are hot buttons for YouTube and Netflix as well. And then you have a help button right on the remote, which is kind of neat. You do have the power cord and an HDMI cord, which is pretty basic right here. But this is it right here. Here's the box. But let's see, is it worth $36 US to get a box like this? Let's get it on the TV, check it out. All right, guys, I got you on the home screen right here, and I just wanna show you a little bit about this box when you first power it up, because when you're getting a budget box, they're usually pretty bare bones, and this one is definitely bare bones as well. I did notice on the home screen, you do have a browser, <clears throat> you do have YouTube, and there's where all your built-in apps, and we'll look at those in just a minute, and then you've got your Google Play Store, which is good. I wanna look at that, and then I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna change a couple settings. I'm gonna show you where those settings are in this video so you can kind of get an idea because if you're used to an Amazon Fire Stick, this is gonna be completely different for you, but it's actually really, really easy once you've done it. So, and then of course up here, you can add apps. So if you wanna add more to your home screen, you can do that. So if you wanted, I don't know, Netflix right on your home screen, you can add it right there. And then there's this app called Film on Live TV. I don't know anything about this. I don't know if it's a some sort of an IP, IPTV or what it is, but we'll look at it really quick in this video. Now, first thing I do whenever I get a box like this is I go into settings. 
because I want to see exactly what I have right here. So I go into device preferences and this is where I change my date and time because it's almost always off on these boxes. In fact, on this box right here, you can see that it actually says 132. I promise you it's not 132 in the morning <laughs> here where I'm filming this video. So again, go into device preferences and you can change your date and time and I'll do that in a minute. This is also a Bluetooth box. So that's nice because for under $40 to have a Bluetooth Android streaming box is pretty impressive. So you can, it, for something like this, you can add, you know, those surround sounds that are Bluetooth. You can do Bluetooth headphones. You can do Bluetooth remote. There's a, a lot of things that you can do. You can even hook up your Echo devices to this and have a great sound rather than just coming out of your TV. So that's where you would do that right there. So it does have Bluetooth, which is nice. You can change your language. You can do all kinds of stuff in this section. Now, storage is something I, I always like to look at because I like to see what's available in the box when you get it. And they sent me the 128 gigabyte storage box. I thought they might have because when I was unboxing it for you, I noticed on the box it said 128 gigabytes. And I was shocked and I was surprised. And I thought maybe they put it in the wrong box, but nope. They, I ordered the 32 gigabyte storage and I got a 128. I don't know if you will, no guarantee. Maybe they're out, but I'm happy with that. It's a lot of storage. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. All right, so now another thing I wanna share with you is if you go into your apps, you wanna set your app permissions. So you wanna make sure that the ones you use, and that's right down here in storage under app permissions. You wanna make sure the ones that you're gonna be using to download those apps are checked to you right. So for example, Chrome is, and you want that. It may not be. Uh, film on live TV. I don't know what that is again, but you might want it. And then of course, Netflix, if you want to download. And it, I noticed that a lot of them already are. So that's really nice right out of the box. So let's go ahead and go back here to the home screen. And we're going to check out what comes on built into the box. So if you go into apps right here, it looks like there's a couple different versions of an air screen. So you've got air pin and then you have DLNA. I'm just assuming these are probably going to be like screen mirroring for Android phones and iOS. I haven't tested it yet, but more than likely that's what it is. A lot of these boxes come that way. It does have a calculator built in. You have your Chrome browser. You got cleanup, which is nice. You can close those background apps, clear some cache. File browser, that's where you're going to be able to see all the stuff that you did download. You got music, media center, where you're going to be able to access a lot of that content. And then you've got your regular Google and gallery. And I, this is an updater, it looks like. And then that film on. We'll look at that in a second because I don't even know what that is. And then you've got Netflix built in. Now keep in mind Netflix on these Android boxes, these very inexpensive Android boxes, it's not going to be 4K. So if that's something that it bothers you that it's going to be maybe 720, then I probably wouldn't get um, an Android box like that. But I, with my eyes, I can barely tell the difference. And so uh, it does have it built in, it looks like. And then you've got your Play Store, of course, settings, setup wizard, Wi-Fi display, and YouTube. Basic stuff you're going to see. But as you could see, Anytime that you have an Android box like this, it's going to be very, very basic. It's not going to have those extra apps, but if you have the Google Play Store, it doesn't really matter. You can click on that and you can have full access to all kinds of content. Now, if you go down here, you've got your featured apps. And then if you head down further, you'll be able to see some suggestions for you. And then keep on going down, you're going to be able to see some and it is a little bit hard to maneuver around on this box so i don't believe that this is the certified version of google play store but if it has all of the apps that's all that really matters and then you can see all of the recommended for you apps so there's going to be a lot of cool apps in here a lot of free ones a lot of great content and your paid subscription ones as well but it does have a lot of apps on here. So that is really good. So this is the Google Play Store that's built into the box. So this is a Google box. It's not going to have the Amazon Play Store because this is not an Amazon device, even though we purchased it on Amazon, okay? So really quickly, let's go into apps, see what's on this box on Film on Live TV. I don't know anything about this, but we're gonna open it up, take a look, see what it is. It says Live TV, HDI, anytime, anywhere. Not sure exactly if this is a subscription that you have to pay for or if it is something free, but we're going to find out. All right, so pulled up. It looks like in a live TV section, but let's go ahead and click on our air mouse, which you, is on all of these remotes. And let's click the three dash lines because I want to see what's available on here. It looks like it's playing BBC right now. That's pretty cool. So you've got plus 600 live TV channels and over 45,000 movies and TV shows. You can also do recordings on here and there is subscription. So some of the content may be paid. I'm not going to get too much into this. This isn't my, this is not something that we can normally do on YouTube. So I'm not going to, um, to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out. And let, that's going to be a bonus for you, for you to play around with if you get this box here. Of course, you can add any free TV movies, all that stuff onto a box like this. 
and that is at your discretion over in the Play Store right there or by downloading the APK through Chrome right there. Really easy to do. So if you have get a hold of those APK installers like I have posted on Patreon, you'll be able to access them through Chrome, any of those apps that I share. And then of course this one comes built in with that, which may be a little bit of fun. Again, I don't want to get too much into it because I can't anymore on YouTube, but I will go into that a little bit further on Patreon. If you are a member, you can reach out to me and I will send you that video. Okay, so let's go back home. And again, basic screen. Now, if you want to change that background, you can just uh, hit that button on your remote, like it says, and you can change it to whatever you want. So you can customize your background how you like it, which is very basic, very easy. You could hook up a box like this to a projector and project it onto your screen, get all kinds of content and have like a movie night. Um, or you can just put it on your TV like I do here. You can also use it as a gaming device. You may have noticed in the Google Play Store that there was a whole games section right here where you can play video games. So this can be a gaming box too. So if you're looking for an inexpensive way to get a gaming box for maybe for your kids, this is a great way to do it as well. And there's all kinds of free games on here in the Google Play Store. Tons and tons of games. It's just better than playing on your phone all the time. You can play on a big screen and you get a little bit better games in the Google Play Store. So that's it, basic story, basic box, under $40. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one. I just wanted to share with you what it was like to go out and purchase the cheapest Android TV box on the market. Is it really worth $40 on a cheap one versus maybe going out and buying a really good one like an Nvidia Shield or a VC box or one of the Elite boxes where you could be paying two, $300 for those or just 30 what 35 bucks 36 bucks i spent on this one right here there's a big difference in performance i will tell you that right now but if you're just streaming movies or tv as you saw on that video it's actually not that bad and it's very affordable and if you don't already have like a smart tv that has an android store a full google play store like a google tv then maybe adding something like this would be a very affordable way to do that. Now you might want to compare something like this to what a Fire TV stick has. Fire TV sticks are going to have two gigabytes of RAM versus four. It's going to have maybe four or five gigabytes of storage max, if that. Whereas something like this, I got lucky and got the 128 gigabyte version. Even though I only ordered the 32 gigabyte, but even if you just got the 32 gigabytes, you're still getting what, four or five times what you would get on a Fire TV stick, a stick in storage, which can be a huge thing if you are DVRing content. So if you're watching it to actually stream and download that content, like Netflix, for example, you can download content. Well, you really wouldn't be able to on a Fire TV stick, but you certainly can with a box like this. So is it worth it for under $40? Sure. If it's the only option you have, or maybe you can't afford one of those two or $300 Android boxes, those top tier boxes, because you're not gaming or you're not doing any of that stuff, Something like this might actually be a pretty good value. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Just click that subscribe right down below. And if you want to be notified of future videos, YouTube did a little change. You actually have to click our channel name right below this video to pull up our full channel and then click that bell notification in the corner. That's the only way you're going to be notified. I wish that they didn't change it. It used to be right down below the video, but it's not. So if you want to be notified of those videos, make sure you do hit that bell notification. If you guys have any question about this box or any other Android box on the market, guys, I've tested a lot. And in this video, I wanted to go out and test the cheapest one I could find. And this was it right here, guys. Again, this was the X88 Pro 10. Let me know what you think about it. Comment down below. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.